I just, I love working with the fire. I love the glowing metal, you know. I love, uh, I love hammering it. <laughs> I spent 30 years putting shoes on horses and uh, hammering steel and you'd think by now I'd be tired of it, but there's something about it that I, that I love. Um, I'm making a bottle opener. I was just out here making things one day and um, I, I started shaping a piece of quarter inch square stock and I thought this looks like a bottle opener, so that's how the whole thing got started. So I start off with a piece of quarter inch square stock and I've got to cut it to length. So I'm gonna put it in the forge and heat it up in the middle and cut it off on the anvil. Okay, right here I'm flattening the end. This is gonna become the part that hooks under the bottle cap. Um, and then I'm gonna roll it over and I have to get it just right. If, if it's got too much of a hook in it, it will hook the glass and break a piece of glass off when I open when you open the bottle. If it's not hooked enough, it won't hook the bottle cap well enough to pull the cap off. Now I'm going to put the hook in the end of the bottle opener. What I've got to do is cool down the tip so I don't crush the tip um, first, and then I'm going to bend it over the anvil. Okay, this is where it gets difficult because I'm trying to shape one area of this piece without destroying the other areas. And when the whole piece of metal is soft, it's really a trick to know where to hit it without, to not cause more problems than you fixed. Now I'm gonna finish the curl and get and straighten it out a little bit. So one of the images of blacksmithing is of a person with the giant sledgehammer hitting steel as hard as they can, but that's not always necessary. A lot of times, just a light hammer blow is all it takes to shape it. Okay, so now I'm gonna put the twist in it and give it a little bit of character with a special tool I've made to grab the iron while it's hot. So now I'm putting texture on the end. I start off by pointing, making a point on the tip if I do that later, I'll distort the tip so much I won't be able to make a nice point on the end. So I'm texturing it just to give it character. I need to narrow it down to taper it down to a point, but I think it looks better when it's got a bunch of hammer marks all over it and character. Okay, now I'm gonna bring the piece out, bend it over into a U shape and start the process of wrapping the end around itself. This is where the piece starts to come together and look like a finished piece of art. So this is a good example of not wanting to hit it too hard. I need to finish shaping the loop on the back, but I don't want the, the middle to bend. So I'm gonna cool it down and then hammer on just the loop in the back. So now I'm putting the finishing touches. I'm just doing some fine tuning, shaping it, getting it to look exactly the way I want it. So here's the finished product. I've polished this and blued it a little bit and then put a clear coat over it to just to preserve it. 